SUNY Oswego volcanologist Rachel Lee had already scheduled a research mission to the active Kilauea volcano to study lava flow mechanics and cooling rates last May. When the volcano suddenly erupted with new explosions and earthquakes, evacuating thousands of people in a 10-mile radius. As rivers of lava engulfed homes, Dr. Lee and her team sought to better understand the unique characteristics of lava. They reached the community of Lalani Estates in what is called the Lower East Rift Zone, where gigantic fissures spewed lava 200 feet in the air that destroyed nearly 700 homes and revealed to Lee the human impact of the event. There was a lot of desperation from people that had lost their livelihood, they'd lost their homes, they'd lost their land, uh, and it was kind of unlike anything that anybody would really see in their lifetime. It was kind of like being on another planet. We also had the opportunity to go up with uh, the USGS in a helicopter to view the lava flows from above, where the lava has been coming from the main fissure and moving down the land and, and entering into the ocean as very hot lava interacts with relatively cold water, it can cause explosions. Our goal there was to make and improve predictive models for lava flows to figure out where they're going, where they might progress, how long they might last. The biggest adrenaline surge for me was seeing the uh, Fisher 8 erupting. So to an extent, once in a lifetime for, for a lot of us. So it was very exciting to, to see that. 